Hey everybody, welcome to another eclectic episode of PD Exposed. I'm your semi-eccentric host, John Olson. We love to roll hard on PD Exposed, but you guys know that. We attended a sold-out event at the Expo Center for the Rose City Rollers. And speaking of eclectic and eccentric, the Portland Erotic Ball, filmed at the Crystal Ballroom. Yeah, some serious eye candy there. Portland, our fabulous city, is never short on great ethnic restaurants, and the Alexis restaurant on Burnside is no exception. We love children on PD Exposed, and we love to show it. We attended a benefit for the Children's Cancer Association on Savi Island. Or is it Sobe Island? I don't know, but I'm sure you'll tell me. Vela Bonds opened for Bon Jovi, and tonight they rock for you. You're going to love this band. We'll be right back after these messages, so don't go anywhere. I'm the Joker's Wild, mascot for the High Rollers. You're watching PD Exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the late 90s, the movie Roller Girls, Heather Graham Hottie, I've been kind of intrigued with the whole roller derby scene. Well, turns out we've got it right here in Portland. The Rose City Rollers are at the Expo Center, and we are about to learn about roller derby. is you have five girls on one team, five on the other. The front girls are your pivots, the middle girls are your blockers, and the back girls are your jammers. Your jammers are your point scorers, okay? So what happens is um, the whistle blows, the pack takes off, and the pack is the blockers and the pivots. The pivots set the pace, and they kind of keep the girls all working together. And then um, second whistle blows, and the jammers take off. The jammers are the point scorers. So what they do is they have to fight their way through the pack. So basically, I'm trying to help my team, my jammer, get through and block the other team's jammer at the same time. And then um, they come back around, and then the girls fight their way through the pack, and on the second lap through the pack is when the jammers start making points for every girl of the opposing team they pass. All the teams have worked really, really hard. I think they put a lot of extra pressure on themselves to perform, but I think you're going to see a lot of teamwork. we got to represent all four teams, and Breakneck Betty's has a representative here. What's your name? Donna Dededd. Donna Dededd. So I, I get the whole Donna Dededd thing. Why, though? Why, why that name? Uh, my husband chose it. I'm, we're into zombies and uh, horror movies, so it fit right in. Okay, we found somebody with the high rollers, and your name is? Blocker. Wow. <laughs> this interview is over. No. <laughs> How did you come up with that name? My last name's Cox. So it was given to me. You seem kind of like sweet and, you know, nice and stuff. So when you get out there on the, on the uh, rink, you, you're not so sweet and nice? Well, you know, it kind of comes out. Once, it, once it starts, the adrenaline starts running, it just kind of comes out. You'd be surprised. There's no crying in roller derby. There's no crying in roller derby. There's no crying in roller derby. The Rose City Rollers organization has only been around for two years, and yet, look at this place. It's absolutely packed. This might be my favorite sign at the entire event. Beer in bleachers only. That's a great sign. That means you can't have any water, you can't have any Coke, you can't have any Pepsi, no lemonade. You can only have beer in the bleachers. Portland Roller Derby is going to take over the world. Absolutely. You think? Absolutely. Why is that? That's a pretty big sound bite there. Because those are my girls. The Rose City Rollers is one of the toughest tickets in town, and for good reason. You guys, we go to events all the time, all over the place, and this absolutely made our crew speechless. It's an incredible event. If you haven't checked out the Rose City Rollers, it's a must-do. No matter what walk of life you're from, you got to come. But make sure to get your tickets early. Go to RoseCityRollers.com.
It's the Portland Erotic Ball. We're at the Crystal Ballroom. I'm the devil. Time to have some fun. promoter Sassy Sasha is on PD Exposed. Sasha, thanks for having us at this crazy event. Thank you for being here. Take us through the events of the night. You've got a lot of sponsors on board. There's the costume contest. you got bands. Take us kind of through the events of the night and what it takes to plan something like this. Well, it takes months of work. Uh, and, you know, to connect with all the communities, the fetish community and the bondage community, as well as just the general community of people that love to see something outrageous and wild. It takes a lot of time. Our goal is to make sure that people have an adult Halloween experience. It's not your mama's Christmas or your Halloween party. It's not a kid's party for adults. Have a good time. So tell us about the, the, the contest. I've got some wristbands here that I need to hand out. That's right. you got three wristbands. we got best group, best couple or individual, and sexiest. It's, you know, it's an erotic ball after all. So we're going to choose 15 people in each category, and those people that are going to come up on stage, strut their stuff, and we're going to choose a winner for $3,000. Last question. Anything goes at this ball. What what doesn't go at this ball? The only thing that doesn't go, honestly, is actual sex. And I've done a lot of erotic balls in a lot of cities. There's nudity. There's a, a lot of excitement. There's every fetish you can imagine here. People are having a good time. Well, you look beautiful, Sasha. Thanks, John. Thanks for having us. You look very handsome. Thank you very much. I, I'm always like this. I just get to dress like it tonight. <laughs> Okay, so I gotta judge the contest now. I gotta pick the coolest group, the best dressed couple, and the sexiest single. I definitely have a candidate over here for best dressed group. Kiss is in the house. Let's go meet him. Kiss, what is up, guys? What's going on? How you doing? What's your name? Troy. That's 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 just what's your stage name, man. Gene Simmons. That's what I'm talking about. So you guys are are in definitely the running for best dress, uh, best dress group. No question. So I need to give somebody, one of you dudes, one of these. But tell us about the process of getting all this together. The process, you wouldn't believe. It's been about a four-year process. Every year we put a little bit more and a little bit more. Me and him have handmade everything on these costumes. Well, you guys are definitely in the running for best dress costume. So big money on the stage. Okay, so I've given my group wristband out, but I haven't given my solo one out yet. And I got one chick over here. Come here, follow me. She's pretty sexy right now. Excuse me one second. What's your name? Angie. Angie? Yes. So you're looking pretty hot. What are you dressed as? Just my sexy self. You don't dress like this every day. Well, only on special occasions. This is yours, by the way. You need to put this on now. Okay, so we got another couple in the house that's definitely in the running for the couple's costume contest. Who are you guys? Uh, I would be a demon, and she would be the sorceress that summoned me. The torturess that summoned you. What did you? What did you summon him from? Hell, of course. Exactly. And you know what? I knew that. I knew that. Why did I know that? Because you're a Satan. Exactly. So you know what? I'm not, I don't really know if I want to let him out of my uh, my domain. <laughs> Too bad. I need him. Why? I don't know. Good loving. Is he a good lover? Oh yeah, he is. Oh, is he look at look at him look down at me like, oh yeah. You better believe it, buddy. the sexiest, sexiest, sexiest costume contest. Dude, there were some hot, hot chicks up on stage. How did you do it? I'm not sure. I mean, there weren't very many men competing, so I guess the ladies must have really uh, yelled for me. They must have. 
So explain the outfit. Actually, this is the second Halloween I've worn it. The first time I've, I've been here, though. And um, I don't know, I was cruising on the internet just thinking of some ideas. Uh, I actually like, did a Google search on the words naked and nude and such, thinking of some sort of sexy idea. He's got a thousand bucks. Come on. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, so I what think. are you going to do with a thousand bucks? You going to Disneyland? I, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll You're going find, to the I'll, Enchanted Village or I'll, something. I'll, I'll find a way to spend it. I'm hey, sure. congratulations. Today at Relax the Back, we're focusing on products that help you sleep better. I, for one, am a bad sleeper, so Miriam, tell me, what can these do for me? Two items right here are the uh, spinal line board. It's made out of memory foam. You put it between your legs when you lay on your back and it keeps your spine straight. And a, a smaller version is this. Another item we have is our side sleeper pillow. And it has a, a contour cut out for your shoulder and an indentation in the center for your head, which will keep your head straight. So you'll be a lot more comfortable as you sleep. Great. I also have this item here. It's not for sleeping, but it's for realigning your spine, getting rid of migraines, anything like that. And you just rest over it and Stretch your neck out for about five or ten minutes a day, and you'll be feeling a lot better. What about snuggling? Snuggling. I live alone. Yes, this is the Tempur-Pedic Teddy Bear. I would recommend oh, that to keep you company. We also have all the other wonderful Tempur-Pedic products. Awesome. Amen. For more information, visit both store locations, including the newly remodeled Beaverton location, or dial the number on your screen. Santorini wine. Belly dancing. The best bread in Portland. Calamari. The most authentic Greek restaurant outside of Greece. Okay, where are we? The Alexis Restaurant, second in Burnside, baby. Opa! Yamas! Well, the most popular for the Greek cuisine actually is the, the lamb. You know, we cook a lot of lamb. And a lot of actually special ourselves here, we make everything out of lamb. I got it. I'm going to be a good waiter too. This is a pan fry Greek, Greek caseri cheese. You put the uzo. Oh. And then. Nice. You light it. And then you take that to the table. Well, here we have the saganaki. Opa! There you are. That's good stuff. The Greek tradition is everybody have uzo, including you. So your restaurant, your restaurant, this is your place. You guys are extremely authentic. I've been to Greece twice. And honestly, Alexis, this is the most authentic Greek restaurant outside of Greece I've ever been to anywhere in the country. The difference is that we're, we're eating more healthier foods and uh, we're eating more like olive oil. It's the healthiest thing instead of butter in our bread. Uh, we eat a lot more greens, more vegetables and uh, we are more to just stay healthy and uh, drink more and uh, dance and have fun.
Summer Sizzle Build is one of the top parties you cannot miss for the summer. Why? Great food, great people, a great event, and most importantly, it benefits a great charity, the Children's Cancer Association. The Children's Cancer Association has been around for 11 years, and Regina here, my good, my new good friend, I like her, she's fun, she started this whole thing. Regina, talk about this event tonight, and what does it mean for your association? This event is a fabulous party. Uh, John Bladholm, a single guy here, is opening his amazing home on Savi's Island. Invited 350 of his favorite friends to uh, come and listen to amazing music and party, uh, all benefiting uh, local kids served by the Children's Cancer Association. So you guys are going to raise a lot of money tonight. There's an auction going on behind us right now. Where does that money go and how is that going to help the kids? It goes right into our award-winning programs that are in the hospital, um, our Music RX program, our Pediatric Chemopal program, our Dreamcatcher program um, that touches the lives of over 13,000 uh, children and their family members here locally. But what an amazing thing you're doing, Regina, for, for children, for families. You can see it here tonight. You can see all the, the, the happy smiles on people's faces. Children's Cancer Association .com. Dot org is dot com. It's all three. <laughs> dot org, dot com. <laughs> Just go there, you guys, because if you love children, everybody loves children. This is this is an amazing organization, and thanks to Regina, she's putting smiles on families and, and children's faces, and I, I'm I'm speechless. Every party takes a creator, every party takes a host, and John Bladholm here is the host of this awesome party for an incredible cause. John, thanks for having us, man. Uh, thanks for coming out. It is a great cause. This party tonight is pretty cool. Tell us about this. Well, this is the second year here. Um, we're hoping for four to 500 people. We'll raise anywhere from $75,000 to $100,000. Um, we have probably 30 volunteers that the last week have been out here busting their fannies, um, creating this atmosphere. And uh, there are a lot of great charities. There are a lot of great places to have it, but I think we're all kind of tired of the same old, same old. And so this was something out in the country, yet only 15 minutes from downtown Portland. Andy's joining us here. Andy is with Mount Hood Beverage Company. You're like the, the big dog of Mount Hood Beverage, right? <laughs> I'm the vice president of sales, yeah. Hey, hey nice. You're a good guy to know. <laughs> yeah. Now describe in a nutshell for our viewers what the Children's Cancer Association does for kids. Who was that? CCA is a, it's a gap fill program uh, where things fall between the cracks. Simply put, uh, in a hospital when the uh, children are going through chemotherapy, it's a sterile environment, it's a scary environment for a child. This provides the opportunity, whether it be the Music RX program or whether it be the uh, uh, Dreamcatcher program where, where kids can get away or the caring cabin that we built uh, over on the coast. These opportunities allow a child to live a life that w when, when things seem down or when the opportunities seem gray, we try to brighten those opportunities. So why are you involved? It's in my heart. You know, it's just uh, my, my family taught me years ago that uh, to give back is critical. Always do the right thing. And I think this is something that just uh, internally, you know, when you're when you're in a cause that you just have so much passion for and, and you don't know why, but you're just driven every single day to give back to the community. And this uh, hits all cylinders for that. If you look up Rockstar Online or in the dictionary, there's a picture of John Bon Jovi next to it. Well, the band tonight, our Rockstar Music segment featured band, are the Velabons. And these guys were fortunate enough to open for Bon Jovi. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But first, let's meet a couple of the guys and let's talk about their music. Tell us your name and, and what do you play? And you're, you're kind of the lead dude, Rob. I'm Rob. I sing, play a little bit of guitar. I'm Elijah. I play lead guitar. What inspires you to write your tunes? One word, chicks. What's, what was the inspiration behind Scream? Well, I was dating this girl, and she used to get so mad, and then would like get red in the face, and would just never say anything. And I was just, just let it out, just scream, you know. Yeah. 
They're one of the best bands in Portland, and um, you know we, we come out and see them all the time. It's very catchy, and you can sing along to the songs, and um, it's just, I don't know, it's good. What advice would you give to younger musicians right now who would love to be in your shoes? I mean, opening for Bon Jovi, that's pretty cool. I would say become a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying don't do music? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm saying do music every day. Who's been the most influential person in your life thus far, and why? I ask you both. Really? Yeah. Don't give me a hard question or anything. I would say um, Britney Spears, definitely. I'm Britney all the way, all the way. Inspired you? Oh yeah. So you just shake it on the stage tonight for us? Yeah. I'm gonna come out with a snake and I'm gonna rip off my clothes. It's gonna look like I'm naked, but I'm not. All right, Eli. <laughs> I'm gonna say George W. Bush. He's very well spoken, um, very articulate. He's just, I, I think he's a brilliant man. Scream if you want to love me, I'll hate you. Push me, I'll break you. Baby, I'll let you down. Scream when it hurts that much. Just turn it up. Go on and lose control. And if it hurts that much, why don't you scream when it gets too much? I've had enough. Go on and lose control. Thanks for watching this eclectic episode of PD Exposed, everybody, and thanks to our sponsors, American Laser, Relax the Back, Comcast, Latitudes, London Influence, and The Showroom. It's not too late for you to enter to win a $1,500 gift certificate from American Laser, so go to pdexposed.com right now to enter for your chance to win. And congratulations to past winners, Kathy Robertson and Adam Serkin. PD Exposed hits the road for the next few months, people, so you're going to be seeing shows from the Oregon coast and from one of our favorite places, Sapporo, Japan. That's right. We're heading back to Japan. Thanks again for watching this episode of PD Exposed. Make good memories, everybody. Eccentric episode of PD Exposed. I'm your semi... What's the word? <laughs> God. I'm your semi-stupid host, John Olson. There's a blue for you. <laughs> Vela Bonds is our featured band. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Stay what? Tuned. <laughs> At PD Exposed, we know it never snows in Portland, so whereas this might look like snow over here, it's not. It's not snow. We just got a huge budget on this show. We make tons and tons of money, so we had all the snow flown in from Alaska. It's not real snow. 